Hi everyone and welcome. This is Alex here. I'm advised by Alex and to find out much more about me and how to book a session with me, you can visit all my links in the description box below. And today is Thursday, May 4th, 2023. I want to thank you for stopping by and giving me a listen to. Uh, today we're going to be doing the full moon in Scorpio um angel messages uh for friday um may 5th 2023 so we are going to do the full moon reading in scorpio uh, so we're going to hop in here and get started so the first of the deck that we're going to be using is the moonology deck by yasmin boland so that is a really awesome deck and i love it very much so, what does everybody need to know for the full moon in Scorpio 2023? What does everybody need to know for the full moon in Scorpio? Okay, that one wanted to come out. Oh, I love that hat. Hold your vision. Oh. I love these cards. These are going to be like, damn. Ah. Okay, so the first card here is that we have is Believe in the Impossible, Blue Moon. And what the angels are really saying, this is all about us having confidence within ourselves to be able to move forward in the next chapter of our lives. So allowing ourselves to be confident within ourselves and within our soul. Um and to be able to stop doubting ourselves and things like that. So that is an amazing card. So believe in the impossible is an amazing message. And knowing that um knowing that things can happen even when it's not fully visible quite yet, but knowing that things can be brought into reality in the blink. So it's all about manifest manifesting and um, allowing our opportunity uh, to be with us. So, and for whatever reason, I keep being drawn to say about communication. So I feel like um, working on communication is important. So I feel like allowing honesty and things like that is very important at this time. So, uh, and that makes sense with Mercury retrograde as well. So Mercury retrograde on top of full moon, ooh, it's gonna be a doozy. Um, so hold your vision, a fixed moon, and this is all about having a solid, um, vision of what you want. Uh, think things clearly, especially in a Mercury retrograde. Um, and then after Mercury retrograde is over, we can, um, start new things and things like that. So, of what we've been planning in Mercury retrograde, so hopefully a lot of you have been planning um, and things like that. So I have been planning myself. So uh, I'm planting little seeds behind the scenes without uh, sharing quite yet. But once those seeds are planted and grown, I will be able to let you guys know. So the next one here is nothing is set yet set in stone, a mutable moon. So this is all about that even though we are planning and believing in the impossible, there is no set outcome quite yet. So, um, because there hasn't been any action yet behind it. So, um, it's all about the pre-planning stages. Um, so an analogy of this is like in a movie, um, a, of a making of the movie, like you would see on IMDb, uh, it's like them, it's like in progress. When it sort of says in progress, it's like pre-production. So they are, Whenever a movie is in pre-production, they are planning the actual um, filming locations. Um, they are going over the script and the design of the sets and things like that. So that is all about pre-planning and things like that. So that is really an, an awesome analogy. Um, so the next one here is an amazing card to have is New Moon. A fresh start is coming. So... Uh, a new start is coming. So 
uh, change is on the horizon, so I feel like things are going to be picking up and having a faster pace, especially after Mercury retrograde. And it makes sense because we'll be going into Gemini season here after after we finish with Taurus season. So, and Gemini's are quick, um, free flowing, and things like that. So that is very very much where that is at. So the next one here is new moon eclipse expect powerful change so again <laughs> this is going back to that new start card um i feel like we're going to be having a powerful start to where we are so that is really awesome and things like that so pretty cool in my opinion i love that um so full moon and sagittarius is the overall look at bigger picture so things from a macro point of view and things like that so yeah yeah so exciting that is really awesome so again it's all about that balance having balance as well um especially with that arrow so pointing it at the right direction it reminds me of like cupid's arrow too um and then we have void of course moon nothing will come of this situation so i feel like this is Going back to nothing is yet set in stone. I feel that this is all about whatever worries you have in regard to things that you have going on right now. They are null and void. So nothing will come of your worries and things, worries and things like that. So that is really awesome. I'm very, very, very happy in regard to um, the messages for today. So the next deck that we're going to be using is the Angel Wisdom deck, and that is with Radley Valentine. All right, so what does everybody need to know for the full moon in Scorpio? Full moon in Scorpio, what does everybody need to know? Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. Well, we have a lot of... Mm, wow. We have a lot of major arcana cards for this. This is going to be a powerful full moon in um, Mercury retrograde. I feel like it's just going to force us to change and go in the direction that we're supposed to go in. If you've been holding on to your training wheels, take those training wheels off and we'll be going in a new direction and things like that. So, yep, yep, yep. I've been saying this for a while, but you guys haven't believed me. So you guys got to believe it now because the first card up is that we have is the transformation card. Um, and then regular tarot, I believe this is the tower card as well. Um, and it is a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing of old beliefs. So, um, inner transformation will allow powerful change, um, on your horizon. And I definitely feel that Archangel Zachiel is around helping with this transformation process um so i feel like this will bring about harmony within ourselves so and harmony leads to peace and peace leads to uh trust and uh, trust leads to faith <laughs> so see the interconnectedness of everything like that so the next card here is that we have is the six of pentacles the good you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of abundance Borrowing wisely or paying off debt, sharing your, your wealth with others less fortunate. fortunate. So, I do want to say that I, when I pulled this card the last time, a couple days later, I was able to have my tax refund fully come in. So, that was an unexpected inflow, which I was very abundant and grateful for. So, um, this is all about uh, things coming to you, and things will be... Um, you'll be able to help others as well, but not only yourself as well. So um, important to when you receive things to also give to other people as well. The next card here is that we have a dreamer. 
Major Arcana card. A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside. Take a leap of faith. So, dream the impossible dream. Um, so... Again, going back to that um, card that we drew in um, the Moodology deck is uh, a fresh start is coming. Expect powerful change. This is all leading up to it. So planning stages now, going into reality very, very soon. The star card is next, which is a uh, major arcana card. Have faith, the future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging time. The light at the end of the tunnel. So, again, <laughs> bright future ahead. Um, almost reminds me of um, the lover's card um, and things like that. With things coming and flowing um, and things like that. So, and also helping you to have passion in whatever the situation is. And uh, whatever your dreams are, to have passion in your dreams. So that is very, very, very important and things like that. So, um, we will be drawing some cards with the Soul Journey cards, the lesson cards, of what lessons we need to learn during the full moon. What does everybody need to know for the full moon in Scorpio? Purpose. Okay, so the first card here is that we have is purpose. I know what I'm here to do. So finding out more about our life purpose and implementing your life purpose and things like that. So that is really quite amazing. I love it. Um, discipline, I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So I'll, the more discipline that you have, uh, with moving forward with your goals and ambitions, the more positive outcome and things like that will come into fruition. Um, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So allowing your friends to help, um, accepting help from other people is also very, very important during this time. So if you realize that you need a little help, it's never um, a bad thing to ask for help and things like that. So, that brings us to the end of the reading, and I hope you guys enjoy the reading. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you too would like to book a session with me, you can visit my links in the description box below. Of course, you can also visit my Etsy shop, which is advised by Alex, to book a session with me to get an individualized look at what is happening for the full moon for you as well. So... Um, until next time, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time, God bless you, angel blessings, and I will talk with you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.